I was looking around YouTube for some axe tutorials, with the axe of meta evolving as of recently, and I couldn't find anything that taught past the basics. Well, in this video, I'm here to fix that. The first thing is stuns. Stuns are a better way to break the shield by double clicking or drag clicking, which allow you to break the opponent's shield and give extra KB to them. There are many ways to perform a stun rather than just hitting the opponent at point blank, such as shifting with it, going with a swipe, and sidestepping. With the way stun mechanics work, it's significantly harder to stun someone if they're taking forward momentum, as well as if they shift when you try to hit them, making for a better stun block. In order to perform a shift stun uh, while breaking a shield, you're ideally going to be at a 3 block range, and you're going to hit your opponent, and as you hit your opponent and they take vertical KB, you're going to shift, which lowers your hitbox. This is a method that can be used by anybody, it does not require you to stun, and overall just is used to lower your hitbox while your opponent takes vertical KB. In order to perform a shift hit, you ideally want to be sprinting as your opponent is taking backwards momentum or at a standstill. This ensures that you get a maximum range, and you get maximum KB, while lowering your hitbox making it harder for your opponent to hit back. So, Swishies are a passive backstab that are very fast. They are really hard to block, and they work on most people. To do a Swishie, it's best to be close to your enemy in a shield engagement, so one to two blocks away. And to do it, you quickly run through them, and then once you're behind them, you 180 flick and hit them in the back. Quick backstabs are very fast and can also be very unpredictable. They have the speed of a Swayshi, but they can get the extra damage that a crit gives you. They can also be used as a way to backstab and then run away. So you can like backstab them, like do the 180 flick, crit, and then run. So here's a deal on the sham backstabs. When two opponents go into a shield dance, one person would break the other's shield, and the person who got their shield broken would fling behind them into a backstab. Another trick with the sham backstab is to one when you're going into the engagement, you would pre-sprint while you're holding your shield. This gives you more momentum to fling behind them and go quicker. This works on normal shield breaks and stuns. P crits, also known as punish crits, are a move in Axe PvP to get the upper hand when you're down. A couple of other details you should know about P crits is that it's not hard to pick up, but hard to master. A way I recommend practicing is doing a P crit chain like so. The reason it's called punished crits is because when an opponent would hit you, it would give you vertical KB so you could crit them back. This doesn't require you to jump. A couple of ways P-Crits can be used to even out or even win in the playing field is by taking a hit or two if you have the health to take it and crit them back. P-Crits are really effective against poorly done shield breaks, and if done right, it can completely counter sword mainers. The Wizcox, also known as S-Taps, is a sequential pattern of hitting your enemy in a varying amount of small hits. It's based on the distance from your enemy as well as trying to maximize knockback. It's a very good breather in between uh, other attack patterns that you can perform against your enemy as well you want to try to execute it with breaking a shield or when gaining distance. Next, I'm going to be fighting one of my friends, XD, in a BO5 while using some of the strats taught in this video to win and get the upper hand in our fight.
Well, I hope you learned something new today, and I hope you get better with what you learned. Also, don't forget to subscribe, please.